What's popping YouTube? My name is Queen Madison. Thank you so much for joining me. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, we are going dirty. Disgusting. Disgusting. So recently I saw one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. Her name is Miss Darcy. She came out with a video titled like clean girl aesthetic vibes. Like how do we do that? Da -da -da. And then I saw on TikTok that some people were talking about like the dirty girl aesthetic, how it's the antithesis to the clean girl aesthetic. It's about like day old eye makeup and like ratty hair, like who cares type of vibe. So I thought we're gonna take all of those things plus some reference photos from Pinterest, put them all together and make this look that's what we created. So if that sounds interesting to you, you already read the titles. Let's just get straight into this video. Let's go. Lips like Ash Ketchum. Ash, Ash Town. Ash Fault. And can I just say this also, Burst Bees is not my favorite um, lip balm. I've been trying it for quite some time now and I'm not a fan. <laughs> How is it I'm never prepared for any video I do ever? Like you'd think after like what 60 something videos, I'd be a little more prepared. Like just a little more prepared. But no, this is still the same. Okay, now that we're prepped, we're primed, we're looking like a shiny egg, I'm gonna go in take my NARS. I'm thinking Narisha today, the radiant long wear. For this look, I'm really trying to channel my grimy high school aesthetic. This girl doesn't wash her... F Someone is calling me. Hold, hold up. For this look, I'm trying to channel my inner high school senior. You know, 62 cents in the bank account. Pops plan B like their Tic Tacs. Like that's kind of what I'm going for, you know? Doesn't wash her face after like before she goes to bed, you know what I'm saying, type vibe. Cause I'm always throwing up. Hi, my name is Ronnie, I'm an addict. Hi, Ronnie. So I'm gonna go with the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. This is like a medium full coverage concealer. Nose, and right there on the chin. Just like it is. Like that, and then we'll just blend it out, give it a once over with the sponge so that she's nice and even. Now it's funny because in my last two videos, contour just wasn't really like important, but in this video, it's actually gonna be quite important. So I'm going to stipple on, this is my black opal foundation stick, and I'm gonna place that on my forehead. I'm kind of gonna go crazy with it. Take that into my temples. And I'm not shying away from if I hit like the inner corner, or inner corner, outer corner of my eye, because we're gonna put some deeper um, <laughs> eyeshadow, damn, <laughs> eyeshadow there later, so. No big deal. And then I'm gonna take the contour pretty far into my cheeks. That's why I'm stippling it instead of just putting it directly on because I wanna be able to control how dark it gets. But we are gonna go pretty deep with the contour today. Yeah, we wanna look almost sick. <laughs> like it's almost sickly, you know? I'm gonna take my Ilia blush. This is in the shade. So I'm gonna take my Ilia blush, it's in the shade before today. It's this light, cooler pink. We're leaning, again, more towards cool tones today because we wanna be kind of gray, kind of ashy, messy, as you will. Towards the center of the face, blending it in with the contour. I almost want it to turn purple. Like, I almost wanted like a purple blush because that's literally like what we're going for here. The nose. So I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever concealer for my inner, inner corner. I'm not going to put too much because like I said, this area is supposed to be quite dark anyway. Literally that much. To be honest, I'm going to take a nice fluffy brush to blend it out. Then I'm going to take my Fenty matchstick. We're gonna we're gonna have a field day with this matchstick. <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, so this is in the shade Espresso. I'm gonna first start by doing my normal nose contour. A little bit on the bottom, a little bit on the top, and a little bit up the sides. Now, usually this is where I would stop, but I am actually going to add a little bit more contour into my eyebrows as well. And I'm also going to add contour right here ooh, in the innermost part of my eye as well. And I might add a little more 
later, but we're gonna do that. Cut out all the way along the side. So almost like a band-aid going around the nose and then up the sides. I'm thinking we could add some purples in here maybe. Almost look kind of like bruised. <laughs> and like just like kind of Again, it's supposed to look like we left our eyeliner on from like yesterday, but like chic, you know? Am I looking dirty and sick? <laughs> but still like wearable. <laughs> now that we look tore up from the motherfucking floor up, I'm gonna be taking my Le Mercier powder to set. Oh, I almost forgot. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta set with powder with spray first. Hold on. Sorry. I'm sorry guys. Hold on. Set that into place first. Oh my goodness. I actually, you know what, while that dries, <laughs> I'm going to do my eyebrows. Now, in a lot of tutorials that I've seen, the brows are quite thin. I don't have thin eyebrows, and I'm not about to shave my eyebrows and do all that for that. But what we can do is kind of give the illusion that they're smaller than they actually are. Um, we're going to brush the hairs down and like out, like straight out, and try and see if we can't mimic a smaller brow. Not like a thin brow, but like a smaller brow. So I'm going to take my trusty oh, He needs God. some milk! Literally dusty brow um, palette that is tore from the floor up. I'm going to take the darkest shade on the end here and I'm going to use that and work that through my brows. And then I'll use the pencil to get the wing and stuff. Okay. Hope that translates well on camera. I was basically trying to get like straighter, smaller brows that have like a longer tail at the end for dramatic effect. Now we can go in with our Le Mercier powder and I'll powder it up. Purr. <laughs> it looks so scary. Oh my god. Next, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This one is from Hula or from Benefit. It's the Hula Toasted bronzer. We're gonna keep it towards the top right in this temple part. I'm not gonna bring this part down. Again, just kind of connecting it to my eye. I don't know if you guys can see that, that little like stripe of warmth right there. Get this I'm gonna do blush next, so I'm taking this uh, Juvia's Place Volume for blush, I'm gonna start with the actual really light bubblegum pink color because again, we want like purple, we want it to be light and messy. So I'm gonna take that color first. Next, I'm taking oiloina. Next, we do a little oiloina. I'm gonna take this black liquid liner from NYX and I'm actually gonna bring it closer. Come closer. I don't bite. Oh, come closer. So I'm gonna do a regular wing, um, though this wing is gonna be more straight. So let me not say regular. It's gonna be a straight wing. So if you have my eye shape, pay attention. So I did a straight line from like the middle-ish of my eye all the way out until the crease, but I didn't go past the crease yet. Let me do the same thing to the other side. I get it as straight as possible. It's not gonna be perfect, that's okay. But something like that. Does that make sense? Then I'm going to do the bottom straight line and I'm going to try and get it so that the end of this wing is in line with the start of this. That makes sense? And then connect the two like that. Like that. That's how I be doing my wing of things. Do the other side. You know what I just realized? If you were been wearing your eyeliner for a whole night, it's not gonna look that good. So what I started to do is I take took my my brush, the brush I used for my eyebrows, dipped it right back in that deep blue brown, cool brown, and I started to kind of smudge the liner a little bit. Like I started to just like go ham, like this, and smudged it out, like this. And I know that looks crazy, but just stay with me because I have a plan. I have a plan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna take my blender brush, go in with the brown again, kind of like rub off the excess, warm it up, start blending that out, and in to the rest of my eye. Boom! Now it's like a smudgy, matte 
look, which I like so much better. Yeah, it just looks like messy. And then we can bring some of that deep color into the that little arch that we made, this little part here. Bring it up like that. There's my Q-tip. And then just clean it up a little so it's not looking like totally bonkers because it can't look like totally insane. But like, clean it up a little. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. That's better. That's better. That's what I needed. So I'm gonna go in with my mascara. This is from YSL. Basically, you just want any like chunky, clumping mascara because we want everything to be clumpy and chunky and a little messy. And do my bottom lash line. Don't be afraid to really get in there. Okay. So I added my bottom mascara and also I added a little bit of an inner corner. I don't know how I feel about it, but like I already did it and I'm not gonna take it off. So we're gonna leave it. We're gonna work with it. Sometimes you just gotta work with it. I'm gonna do my lashes now. Um, my lashes. Oh, oh God. Electric chair. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this monstrosity. I just put all of my lashes into one box, so. Yeah, and you know what I'm thinking? This might seem kind of crazy. I'm gonna put two dots under my eyes, like right here. I know. It's my video. I can do what I want. So I'm gonna fully overline my lips, <laughs> fully. Now that I look like the Joker, I'm gonna take my Fenty Match Stick. And I'm gonna use it like a lipstick. Then I take the Juvia's lipstick in the shade Lady. This one's more of like a neutral color. I usually don't use it as much anymore, but. And then I'm gonna take my Morphe lip gloss. I think I like it. Ooh, and you know what? Now I'm just adding stuff just to add stuff. <laughs> gonna add this thing from Jouer it's this pretty like purple looks like yesterday's yesterday's glitter you know like it's it's just on me because I didn't take it off last night and now it's all over me I like it it brings the look together take it down why not looks like we were crying we were just <laughs> We were just having, we were just doing whatever last night. Like, we were just doing whatever. Like, <laughs> blend this out a little bit so it doesn't look literally insane. But, dude, I'm actually really digging that a lot. Like, right there. I don't know if you can see that. You can barely see it, but I feel like it, it adds to the judge. I'm really digging it. I'm really digging it. But, uh,. Guys, I think that might be it. So let me change, put the hair on, and then we'll close out the video. You know what's funny is that my hair was kind of already in desperate need for a wash, kind of frizzy, kind of on day like five of the curls. Um, it ended up playing to my strengths because <laughs> it kind of completes the look. Um, but that is going to do it for this look today, guys. Comment down below and let me know how you think I did. Also, comment down and let me know. Are you team clean girl or team dirty girl after today? I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm a little naturally dysfunctional myself, so we might be team dirty girl from now on. But like I said, let me know in the comments. But other than that, guys, that is going to do it for me. So like if you enjoyed this video, leave a comment of your thoughts. Make sure to smile. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to ring that bell notification button right after you subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye!